What's going on, everybody? So we're going to do a Modern Horizons 3 gift bundle. So if you're not familiar with these, they just come with, um, I believe it is nine play boosters, apparently, in this new one. So before, I think it was eight play boosters. This comes with nine. It comes with a collector pack, which is the main difference between the um, standard bundle and this one. Unfortunately, the bonus card in here kind of sucks. It's a power balance, a foil power balance. You do get a couple of other things with it, which I'll point out as we open it up. But I just got this in today. I know that there's been a couple breaks here on YouTube. So we're going to do a break right now of one. This is just a personal break. I paid roughly $100 for this um, gift bundle. So I think it was right around there. So we'll see if we kind of get value back. It does come with this insert as well with some of the portraits. It doesn't have all the portraits. Um, just noticing right away, like you don't have Flays, you don't have like Aslask on here and some other things, but um, you do have like Brea, Crick, Airgeist, Roshin, uh, Six, Kalia, Kudo, and Lyalia on that. So a cool little insert. The backside is a Flare of Cultivation art. Um, so if you're into that, that's what comes in there. So we're just going to set that on the side here and we'll go ahead and open this up. Very nice um, bundle box. This is slightly foiled. I don't know if you can really make it out here. But it is a nice box if you're into collecting the boxes as well. Much nicer than the um, the Modern Horizons 3 one. I think I have a Modern Horizons 3 somewhere around here. But yeah, just to compare there. Very cool though. This little Tamiyao art on it. So the set art there. So um, opening it up here, you do get this dice, which is much nicer than the other uh, bundle dice. So there it is. Um, if you want to see it up close. I actually do like this bundle dice. Um... I, I actually collect the dice, so if you ever see me on stream, um, and this is my chance to show myself, but I do stream on whatnot um, roughly two to three times per week at least. Um, if not, a couple. sometimes we'll do more depending on if there's releases and everything. So, weird. They packed one bundle in the front here, or uh, one play pack in the front here. We have our collector pack, which we're going to open up last. Um, and then we have our um, other eight play packs there one of the super smashed front i believe these are all us printed so um if i'm remembering correctly let me actually take a look at the box here but um the bundles are printed in the us so yeah this is made in the us so if you're not familiar um there's actually some packs being printed the regular bundle is printed in belgium the uh i believe the gift bundle is printed in uh the play packs come from uh, the US and then we have play packs that are just in the standard booster box which are coming out of Japan but there's also standard booster boxes that are coming out of um, the US as well I'm actually going to be doing a play booster box opening shortly here on YouTube for a couple people who are supporting me and I just want to say thank you if you do wish to support my channel um, I will have a link to my Patreon down below it is um, as free as I can make it which is a dollar and I'll try to do basically break even breaks for everybody so um, without any further ado, let's get into this. So we do have a pack of lands here. It does look like it's non-foil though. Um, and let's see what comes in it exactly. So here it is. Um, we get the full art lands, which I am showing upside down. So one plain, one island, one mountain, one forest, and then a set of regular lands. That's kind of a bummer for the gift bundle. They don't even give you a, a set of the full arts in non-foil. Um, so we're just getting one of each of those there. Um, and then we have our pack here with the power balance in the front. And really, these, these, um, this little like bonus set of lands and everything isn't going to retrieve our value in any way because I think power balance is a couple bucks. So we do have one of each land in full art foil, and then it looks like we have a set of basics in foil there from this set. So there's that. Those are the cards that come in the little wax sleeves within the set or within the uh, gift bundle. And then we're going to get into our play booster here. So we do get nine. Um, a play box is tw uh, 36 packs. And those are going for around like 250 I believe, on the open market most places. So um, I guess when you break it down, it's really some pretty decent value in these gift bundles. So let's see what we get here. Um, I'll point out any uncommons that I know have been um, doing quite well. Eldrazi Ravager, Sink into Stupor is not bad. Flare of Denial to start things off. And a Sworn Soul Trader in Foil. Um, so we're starting off really strong. That play pack right there um, had quite a bit of value. So we're going to put these up right here. And then I'll just go ahead and keep everything else down here. Let me know if there's anything about the setup that I could improve. I do know right now that my sound, unfortunately, is out of sync. 
Um, I'm working on that. I don't know what it has to do with when I go ahead and edit inside of uh, DaVinci, which is what I'm using. Um, for some reason, the OBS recording does not like that. So Vexing Bobble, not bad, and a Waterlog Teachings, followed by a Victimize and an Ashling Flame Dancer with an Undo Not Master. So we'll put, and then we'll have our lower tier uh, cards down right there. So Ashling is not the best hit out of that, uh, that play pack. Um, Ashling had a lot of hype around release, I remember. She was much more hype than Flage. I actually ran um, a stream, and everybody wanted Ashling, and everyone passed on Flage. And I don't know if you guys have been watching lately. Cave, Kalia, and a Thief of Existence. We'll put Kalia up there and Cave down there, and a Colossal Dread Mask and Foil to finish it off. But yeah, and now uh, Flage is like 50 bucks in non-foil. Um, I want to say it's one of the top three cards out of the set. Being Ulamog, um, Flage, and I believe Ugin's Labyrinth is what's holding up. Echoes of Eternity um, was one of the more sought-after cards initially, and that card has just completely lost its value. Horrid Shadow Spinner, Fangs of Colonia, Marionette Apprentice is great, and so is Kozilex Unsealing, Distinguished Conjurer, and a Null Drifter. Null Drifter has actually been recovering um, since the initial release of the set, so it's um, not a bad hit right there. And then we have a Victimize in foil followed by a coffee token so next pack i don't think we're uh, quite at the point where we're recovering our value out of the box but we still did really well in that first pack infernal captor drown yard seething static prison royal cartographer legion leadership worn power stone and an emperor of bones followed by a foul strike in foil foul strike is a very popular card um, as far as play goes so um, getting those in foil is always nice Nice little piece of removal there. Cheap removal. Let me know how the lighting is, too, for this uh, round. I use, like, a, a whiter light, and uh, I feel like I'm very washed in the, the video. Tune the Narrative, Basking, Wither, Bloom, Cranial, Undo, Unstable Amulet. None of the Rowl decks this weekend in uh, Modern made it, so... All right, here we go. Hydroelectric Specimen. We have an Annoyed Altasaur. Disruptor Flute. This card also had a lot of hype around it, but... Ended up falling flat on its face. And then a Tune the Narrative in foil with a foil forest and a Phyrexian germ to finish that off. So two Mythics so far out of these packs. One being the Ashling, one being the Kalia the Vast. And we have three packs left. So two-thirds of the way through on these play packs. And then we'll do that collector pack at the very end here. Faithful Watchdog, Nyxborn, Breathe Your Last, Tranquil Riddle, Spawn Gang Commander, Charitable Levy, A Grim Servant, Rawl the Implicit Maze. And we're finishing it off with a Toxic Deluge. These have been printed into the ground. RIP to Commander uh, Commander Black. And then um, we have a Harbinger of Disease, Commander Collection Black. Followed by a Twisted Riddle Keeper. Not a bad uh, pack there as well. Honestly, I'm putting anything that I think is playable. I know Harbinger and Toxic have just been cratered in value. I think Harbinger will probably... Um, End up probably settling somewhere between like five to ten dollars. I think it may be sub five right now, though. I haven't kept up with that card's price in uh, the last couple days here. Things are moving so fast that honestly, it's probably not worth trying to memorize everything. Tamiao, Vault Storm Angel, Strength of the Harvest, and then we're gonna go into a Angel of Ruins and a rare Pearl Ear Emperor. And a Grave Dig in Foil with a Forest. And we have an Art card in the back there. Last Play Booster here. I'll say our Play Boosters were okay. The Warren Soul Trader and the Flare of Denial were really, uh, that first pack really did it for us. Um, outside of that, I don't think, uh, I don't think these are going to really recover much of the value here. But we'll see. Utter, Gift, Foreboding, Conduit. I have quite a few of these as well. I'm not... Uh, upset about getting another Warren Soul Trader, nor another Flare of Denial. Although I have yet to hit the uh, full art foil version of that. So here we go. Emrakul's Messenger. I like how they maintain the um, old Zendikar border there. Rush of Inspiration, which is a very popular card as far as like uncommons go. Um, those move very quickly on our TCG player. And then we have Nadir's Nightblade. And we're finishing it off with a Necro Bloom. This card also had a lot of hype around it. And it is now, I think, a bulk rare at this point, and a foil Thraben charm. And Eldrazi spawn. There's the
play packs. They have the nine play packs. So Flare of Denial, Warren Soul Trader, and Kalia definitely being our big hitters and Null Drifter. I'd say Toxic and Harbinger probably belong in this bottom row here alongside Ashling, but we're going to keep them up there, like I said, because I do find them extremely playable. Ashling, I find a bit more niche, so that's why she's sitting in that bottom row. All right, here we go. Uh, for our collector pack, we're getting a Conduit Goblin into a Tune the Narrative. Void Pouncer, Seething Landscape. These landscapes are actually holding quite well. Uh, collective Resistance, Great Uncommon. I actually think this could be potentially CEDH playable, especially for the Escalate. We have a Brain Surge, a Nadir's Nightblade, and we're going into an Island for our full art land. And our first retro non foil is going to be Lion Umbra. And for our we're getting a full art, uh, full art snow covered waste there. So, if you aren't aware, in this slot you usually get a retro foil, but at times it can be this full art uh, waste, it, the snow covered waste. So, first rare is going to be a flare of malice. So we're going to stick that up in the hits, bro. Second rare is going to be a hideous taskmaster. This guy is a game finisher. I don't know if you guys have read this card, but I find it very similar to like flare of loyalties. It allows you to steal a creature and then also attack with it. But the one bonus of flare is that. The creature does get pumped with the flare, and it has the haste. Then we're going into our Necro Bloom for our second Necro Bloom. This card is my um, this is my curse card of the set. I will say, I have probably listed over like six, seven Necro Blooms on my TCG player from the very few openings I've done. Then we're going into our retro non foil Toxic Deluge for the second one of the break, and it looks like we're going into our final card here. It is going to be a rare, a four four, Roshin the Roaring Prophet. So, not the best break overall i do have to say but fun uh i always enjoy opening the pack so i wanted to open that up show you guys what came in the um the gift bundle there if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like down below if there's anything you didn't like let me know leave a dislike and then from there i will uh hopefully post some more videos later on thank you so much and i'll catch you all later